Hello everyone, I'm Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share with you how to make this delicious fried plantain with some fish and pepper sauce added to it. If you are interested in how to make this easy and delicious meal for you and your family, please keep watching. Please don't forget to subscribe as well. In this bowl, I have one whole uh, papino fish that I've thoroughly washed and cut up and I will be using a, a teaspoon of seasoned salt, a teaspoon of boiling seasoning, a teaspoon of on, uh, onion powder, and a teaspoon of black pepper for seasoning. I'm just going to sprinkle the uh, seasoning on the fish. After doing that, I will just give it a good stir and allow it to marinate. And, um, when you are making this dish, especially when you are using fish, you want to start working with the fish first. This will allow the fish, give the fish ample time to marinate while you're working on the other uh, things that will be needed. So this is it. I will just set it aside. For the soys, I will be using two onions, uh, two fresh tomatoes with three habaneros. You can, the habanero, you can reduce it to one or two. And these are the seasonings, some bouillon some black pepper and a uh, cooking cube and i'll be using half cup of vegetable oil right now i'm just pulling the half cup of vegetable oil to the pot and i will just allow it to heat up for about two to three minutes and i will follow that with the uh, blended vegetables that i showed you earlier so this is it I'm not using uh, uh, canned tomatoes today, but if you want your gravy to have that vibrant color, you can add some uh, uh, canned tomato to it by just going simple with it. So yeah, I will be adding the uh, seasoning that I showed you earlier. And I will just give you a stir. After stirring, I added about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of water to the blender just to rinse out my blender because this is vegetable. I'm not cooking it with too much water. So I will just be adding a little bit of water. Like I said, two to three tablespoons of water. I will just rinse the blender and pull it in the gravy. And that's, that's all we need for the gravy today. I will just give you a good stir cover it up and allow it to cook while the gravy is cooking i'll be working on my plantain so i will be using four ripe plantain for today's recipe i will try and leave the ingredients in the description box you can check that out so i'm just slicing up the plantain <coughs> after slicing the plantain i will be using uh, a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of seasoned salt Yes, I'm using seasoning on the plantain today, guys. I was I uh, had the opportunity to visit uh, the country I came from originally, and one of my younger sisters fried plantain, and I tasted it, but I kept going. I couldn't resist the plantain, so I was curious to know. So I went ahead by asking her. I said, "What did you put in the plantain? It tastes so good. I like it." And she said, "I just added a little bit of seasoning to it. So since then, I've been seasoning my plantain before frying it. You see, it looks beautiful. And after frying, guys, it tastes amazing. So while we're working on the plantain, I had some oil, vegetable oil, in the on the stove that was heating up. What I did, I just added a piece of onion to the oil because I'm really using this oil that's why you see it giving that color so when you are reusing your vegetable oil just cut a slice of onion and drop it in the oil and give it they, they will help to give the, the oil some good uh smell <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So yeah, when you season your plantain like that, what you want to do, you just want to fry it right away. You don't want to set it down with the season on it. It, it gives your plantain that kind of a wet texture. So when you season your plantain, make sure your oil is already on the stove and it's getting hot. Then yes, you can just pull your plantain. So yeah, I'm just transferring all my plantain to the hot oil. After doing that, I will just give it a good stir. Yeah, after stirring it, I will make sure this fry until it reaches the preferred consistency. While the plantain is frying, guys, remember that I'm multitasking. So I am going to check on the uh, pepper sauce. I think it's been about five or uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah, our pepper sauce is good. That's it. <clears throat> 
yeah this is it the pepper salt tastes good and it's it's already cooked i will just turn the stove off and set it aside and why i'm completing the frying of the plantain and the fish so as you can see it looks bright and beautiful and it, and it tastes amazing yeah so right now as you can see the plantain is, is golden brown i'm just transferring it from the uh, frying pan onto the plate so it can cool down and i'll be using the same um oil to fry uh, the fish the fish I've been marinating for some time now so it's, it's good to go as soon as I empty the oil the next thing I will follow up with will be the fish so like I said earlier this is a great idea for dinner or even lunch you know it's very easy to make and it's it is so tasty I think your entire family will really like it so I'm just frying my fish now. You can use chicken, you can use shrimp, you can use whatever you prefer. But I'll be going with fish to this. So I will just fry the fish till it's golden brown. I won't like it to get too dry. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is it. I thought it was to share with you guys. I hope it will be a blessing to someone that will wash it and give it a try. So as you can see, the fish is golden brown. It's all good to go. Our meal is ready. My my children, they love to eat it with ketchup instead of the pepper sauce, you know, children in their sweet. Yeah, this is it. We are all done. Uh, if you won't mind, please subscribe. And also, please like, please share, please comment. Thank you again for your support. I appreciate it. And also, Jesus is coming, guys. Let us repent.